join me on a fun two-day adventure as I'm gonna be spending the night in one of the nicest and definitely the most famous Slovenian bivouac. Tropical heat wave came upon us this week and can't remember the beginning of April being this warm at least not in my lifetime the temperatures in the valley got almost up to 30 degrees which is record high for this time of year but we're gonna have an early start tomorrow morning so should be fine It's gonna take some time to get used to this warm climate. I've still got my winter fur on. <laughs> I wish I had a bit more time to show you these caves, but I am running out of daylight. Well, I guess I can show you tomorrow on the way down. Look at those guys. Here's one and there's his fella. Don't mind me, I'm just passing by. Still got quite a long way to go. The buoy is all the way back there. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to catch the sunrise on that mountain tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna have to put on my winter gear now. No more dry ground from here on. You can see how ugly the snow is. It's actually sand from the desert. It got blown all over the country last week. And of course it's the most noticeable on snow. I think there's another chamois up there. Yep, it's moving. <laughs> King of the mountain. Almost, almost at the bivouac. And what do we have here? <laughs> if you've been following me for a while, you might still remember it from one of my previous videos. But last time I didn't spend the night. There's also a lot more snow this time around. Well, we've got ourselves a bit of a problem here. The door won't open because there's too much snow. Not even this top part. Even though it's separate, I guess it doesn't open on its own. So, we've got some digging to do. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's a few 
pure ice down here, so it's gonna take a minute. We're getting close. Well, guess what? The buoy is closed. Oh. They say the door is broken, so they just locked it up for three months. And it's gonna be like that till the end of April. It's always something with these buoys. Sometimes there are mice, other times it's locked. But it never goes my way. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I dug out all the snow and it still won't open. I do have to admit, this time it's completely my mistake, because I didn't check out the website. At least I can show you the inside if you haven't seen it yet. It looks so cozy in there. <laughs> oh man. Before I head back down, I'm gonna cook myself a nice warm meal. I think I deserve at least that. <sighs> at least I'm not going down with an empty belly. I was expecting today's journey to be a bit more fun and chill, but nope, it's always something. But that's life. Sometimes you win and other times you lose. And if you're like me, you just keep on losing. <laughs> At least when it comes to these goddamn buicks. Alright, finally. At least this time I remember to bring a fork. <laughs> Very sorry about the cave tour, totally forgot about that. But I do have something even better to plan to do. And I'm pretty sure many of you already know what I have in mind. <laughs> I think it should be deep enough. Two tours have been pretty miserable, but I promise the next one's gonna be better. As always, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.